So those of you who wonder how do they keep their rows so straight in the field, well as you can see, there is a marker that does a little drag there in the soil. Show them where to go on the next time through. This is just one, one swipe in from the end rows here. We only, normally only use this on small sections or using GPS so the tractor is actually driving itself throughout the field. But certain circumstances you use a marker just on a small area. You can see it really well on this part because there's the no-till section. And then when we turn, we'll start going the other direction down the field. And we're planting 12 rows at a time. A little bumpy. The first, first disc that you see there is just the fertilizer one. Okay. And way back there you can see some of the black wheels I was showing you how the adjustment is. That's actually where the seed is getting dropped in and the double disc one over there. So the first, first set is the trash cleaner. Second disc is the fertilizer disc opener. Behind that is the actual seed disc opener. Okay. somebody that's been grain farming their whole life and having grew up on a grain farm a lot of times people say oh I'm heading out to, to do some planting and you'd wonder well aren't you done yet everything takes so many steps just like with any job whether you're working on a computer or whether you're working on a vehicle whether you're trying to put your crop in the ground there's so many steps and there's so many variables that get involved with every piece of your operation And as a grain farmer, you are doing so much more than just driving a tractor. You're a mechanic, you're a welder, heck, you're a builder, you're a disker, Kevin's getting some ground ready to make a roadway so that during the season as the corn grows we can access the sweet corn that we grew and also the well there with the irrigation pivot is there you can see it way out there that's our irrigator out there and we'll come back a little bit some more of this in a little bit 